All right, so here's five different plugins you have to use if you're using Figma to design anything. So let's dive in. The first one is a pretty simple one. It's called Pexels. And so for an example, if we wanna have a background image, we want something clean, something nice. We click boom one time and we change this to maybe 5%. We change this background to a little darker. Let's use something like that, maybe maybe 10 and boom, there you go. Then you have a, a background image. You can also do this if you want to have an image like this, for example, if in your design, you right click this plugins, pixel, and you type in portrait face. Actually here we have a few examples and boom, there you have it. So that is one of the, I would say frequently used plugins inside of Figma for anything stock image related. So the next one is Iconify. So let's say we're gonna use this image right there. We're gonna have some text. There we go. Yeah, the icons. So let's say we want something like, I'm gonna start with this. Let's make these 100 pixels. Let's make them blue. And let's make three of these. Then you right click this, plugin. Iconify and you can type in anything. So money. Boom. You can actually just drag it in here. And then let's do design. Drag it in, drag it on top here. And then you can just choose the selection color because it's a vector. I'll do the same, same for this one. And there we go. So if you want to make it a little bit more dramatic or you can just choose linear and design a gradient design with these as well. So actually I don't like gradient right there. This looks better. But uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a pretty simple way to get icons for your design projects. You could also invert these. So you make, let's say you want to have a white background. Let's just copy this white background and then selection color for that one blue. So let me go to the next one. Noise. Nice. So this is a commonly used one as well. Noise. And I want to create a flare. Okay. I want to create a something like this. I can set this to 1920, 1080. So I have the exact background size and then I create a flare. I move the rectangle over the let's see under the text uh, uh, uh let's see there we go and now because you want it to be visible over the background image and then because the background image is here in the frame you can see you right there it needs to be within the frame so okay i can also by the way without holding anything down just change the size of this and then when i'm uh, happy with uh, where it's at. I'll just make this 10% maybe. And now you can see the effect that we're getting, right? So you can see if I make it brighter, so maybe I want something like 10. Let me add something like um, add this right there. Man, I'm liking this design. <laughs> well, not very functional uh, right now. But the next one is remove background. So if you want to have an image, for example, let's delete this guy by and then drag me in here instead. And I want to remove the background. Then I can just use a plugin called remove background. Oops. And I click run. Sometimes when it's like a, an advanced image, this one is a little bit more tricky. And for those I use clipping magic because I can easily adjust like, hey, keep this, but also remove this. And with this, I just like, I like how simple it is, you know, within within Figma. So yeah, this is not a perfect example because the image is cutting off here. It doesn't look great. You know, this one, for example, would probably look better if I, I round the corners at 20 and then I do a rectangle, the exact same size behind me. And then I can play around with, you know, a design that fits there. Anyways, you get the point. Next one is the mesh gradient. And so I'm going to go ahead and delete the image and I'm going to create a mesh gradient background for this because I think that looks pretty cool. 
So then I go to plugins again. By the way, if you don't have these plugins installed, you can just go to plugins and click find more plugins and it'll you know find a ton of plugins for you. you can search and then you just install them from there so I right click say plugins there it is mesh gradient and i'm just going to use the one that they have here you can also randomize and you can find a lot of mesh gradients that way i'm just going to use this one right here generate oh editable edges so generate again There we go. Let's flip this. Also vertical, the horizontal, sorry. And then I drag it in here behind ellipse. There we go. Let's do 50%. What about 75? So there you go. That's five Figma plugins for you. Hopefully you like this one. If you want to check out more tutorials, I have another one actually with 10 different Figma plugins you can check out somewhere here. And make sure you subscribe for more tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.